Are you laying in bed at night, scared? Frustrated? Nobody loves you? Career's going nowhere? Family doesn't care? You're living in the wrong place? Society rapidly crumbling? Nobody seems to notice? You're just sitting there? The date you went on didn't go well? You couldn't stop yourself from eating that cookie? You're fat? That stretch mark didn't go away? Somebody's gonna notice it. You'll pay. You'll pay for all that college pizza eating, won't you? All your friends are getting married. You see them. They're all going on boating, nice trips in Anguilla. They're just prancing around with their nice bodies in that beautiful ocean. They're having fun. Your buddy just got a nice job at the firm that his father's worked at for years. He'll probably inherit the house too. He'll be swimming in fucking money. And what will you do? What do you get, seven grand when they sell the trailer? You're struggling. You're suffering. You're a state school boy, but you try to hang out with the flashy kids. You've been trying your whole life. You're a cut below, you're not good enough, and you know it, you feel it, they smell it on you. But you're hungry and agreeable, you show up to all the right events, the right music festivals, sometimes you get a little too drunk and let them know how hard your life is, and they think that's gross. But you try to keep that in, you try to keep that in. You're a good fuck, you fuck with passion, but it's hard to get people into your bed because you're a miserable person. You don't understand. You don't understand why it's so hard. You got a decent dick, it's a nice penis, you know? But you just can't get women, they don't see a future with you. They see a guy that's just mired in his own circumstances, lost in his own conception of who he is, unable to measure up, even in his own mind, can't go out and attack the world with, with the, the, you know, just fuck, go to, go to bed. Go to bed, you deal with it tomorrow. Go to bed, it's enough already. Life is whatever it's gonna be. You're trying to do what you can do. You took the summer internship. You're fine. You did sports. You're a nice enough guy. You've been decent enough to your friends. Some of your hometown friends, you feel guilty you haven't spoken to them in a while, but you know, they're on, they're taking Oxycontin and breaking into people's houses. How can you really help them? What are you gonna do? You wanna hang out with your friend Brett, you know, the one with the nice house in Miami. His dad's Cuban or something. They own a real estate firm. You like them. The whole family seems sexy. You just want to fuck the whole family. You're not gay, but you, you look at Brett and he's got like a 10 pack or something. He's got muscles coming out of his stomach. You didn't even know it could happen, you know? And you just, you look at the different lives people have. And you're just stuck in the middle. You're not putting a gun in some old lady's mouth to take her pain medication, but you're not Brett. So what are you? Are you nothing? Sometimes you, you relish the freedom of your friends who live in old broke down cars up in Buffalo, smoking glass, fucking each other, giving birth in a Arby's. You say, is that the worst life? You gotta take shit from your boss. He loads you up with projects and then he skates off to the Hamptons and he's only got this job because he's had the right fucking silver spoon shoved up his ass his whole entire life. And you wanna tell him that, you love to hit him. You'd love to bludgeon him to death. In fact, that's the only thing that makes you come, thinking of watching the life leave his face, but you can't. When you finally have sex with the state school chick that you've, you've convinced to come into your bed, you know, you're good, you're decent. She comes, you know, most of the time, but you know, you got a little anxiety. And then you're pushing pasta around your plate. Not too many carbs. You're in your mid-30s now. You can't do it the way you used to. And you're sitting there. Maybe you're both a little too drunk. It's a Monday. And you're sitting there and you're thinking, maybe I should just marry this girl. I mean, is it going to get better? You're living in an apartment in Manhattan. It's $3,200 a month. It's not really a great building. There's a little gym and it's fine. It's all fine. Your life is just fine. And you're full of anger and you don't know why and you're full of dread. You've done great considering all the things that you were up against. The mom that drank a little too much wine and the blue collar father that never really understood you. You know, you still like those people, but you don't relate to them anymore. They're simple. You go to their 4th of July party and you watch your father make jokes about farting and you wish he had just gotten it together a little bit more. He provided a little more security for your family. Your sister's off somewhere taking peyote and painting like a psychopath. You talk to her every now and then. She used to be your best friend. You guys would play hide and go seek. Now she's, you know, dating some guy and, you know, all they talk about is communism and eat vegan brownies. You don't know what to do. You're a lonely boy. Calm your mind and just keep going because you know what? At the end of the day, you did it. You made it out. 
You just never thought, you never thought making it out would, wouldn't really matter because you're still there. You're still there. As hard as you fought and as much as you climbed, you still have never been able to fully shake the idea that you're not one of the chosen ones because you're not. But that's okay. There's dignity in the pursuit. You just have to find it. 